Attention, <laughs> forward march. Yeah, so listen, I'm going to introduce him. I've got a number of brothers and sisters. Manhattan? Uh, Chicago, Canada. Kathleen Watson, Kathleen Watson, Kathleen Watson, and correspondent. This is my brother, younger brother, Jack. Isabel, John This is and this is my brother Hank. My pleasure. And this is brother Jim. Okay. I think we ought to get a group here. All right, sir. Why don't we have everybody come down here? We're on the presence center here. If we can have half of you stand on the left and half to the right. Some of them want to come on down. Let me see one to the left. I need to say left. is and naturally it's tinged with sadness but also with warm best wishes and with great appreciation for all that you've done here I think it was wonderful the way you were able to hide your liberal tendencies <laughs> <laughs> be attuned to my basic philosophy here but uh, we're going to miss you and we wish you well and I think there is a little something here that I have to say the um, got some notes in here. I don't want to hold that for you, sir? No. <laughs> I don't want you to even look at it. Where did it go? <laughs> there it is. I have to have a little script here for this now. <laughs> in addition to all the other chores here, he distinguished himself by running on two White House teams. In 85, it was the Reagan's vetoes. And 1986, it was the Reagan reruns. And he beat Senators Pell and Nancy Kassebaum, <laughs> Jim Miller and Bill Bennett. And uh, that was for the Nike uh, cap challenge. And so I just thought that just as we try to preserve memories of someone very young in our households and all that tribute to this, and since that puts him in the White House Hall of Fame, we had your running shoes. <laughs> are you sure these are yours? There's a left one here. <laughs> and you can even have the Gucci bag. <laughs> Mr. President, thank you very much. It's really been an eventful two years since your chief of staff went out to the press room and made a surprise announcement of your new director of communications, and uh, Sam Donaldson left the length of his chain. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, we just, I spend 12 hours a day here working in the best, most rewarding office, the best office in the, uh, in the world to work in, it really is. And then we got privileges to do uh, night work, doing op-eds at the Washington Post. So <laughs> very helpful. Uh, this crowd here we just brought in from uh, Lafayette Park. <laughs> uh, seriously, there's a number of things that you've done here that have really made us, I think, all of us proud. And I've been involved in a few of them. One of them when you stood up courageously and vetoed that South Africa sanctions bill. Another was your leadership in the whole battle for contra aid. We'd have never gotten it without you. Another was when I watched you come out of that Hofti house in Reykjavik, Iceland, and I don't know what you said to Gorbachev at the door of that car, but I'm delighted you said it. <laughs> uh, but I'd like to tell one little story about the, uh, the president and the Reaganites. Uh, incidentally, your jokes at uh, 
At the issue's lunch, we forgive you because your staff has found out George Bush is responsible for most of it. <laughs> One story, sir, uh, uh, that we, you know, a lot of Reaganites argue, when did you come aboard the Reagan, uh, when did you become a Reaganite? And some said, well, after Detroit. And people say, well, I was there before Detroit. And I was telling them, I said, well, look, friend, I was there pre-Kansas City. And so that was pretty impressive until I had breakfast last week with uh, Lynn Knopfsinger in Long Beach. He said, okay, you were there 1976, pre-Kansas City. He said, where were you in Miami Beach in 1968? <laughs> so in 1968, when I was with former President Nixon, candidate Nixon, and we were trying to stop a right-wing takeover organized in California. <laughs> so in any event, whenever we joined, Mr. President, whenever we became <coughs> Reaganites, 66, 68, 76, 80, we are all Reaganites now. Uh, we are with you in this imbroglio. We are with you to the end of this administration. And we are with you to the end because nobody has done more for our cause, our country, and our movement than you have. And thank you very much for the honor of having served you, sir. something in the nature of uh, not bronze shoes or something, right. but a souvenir for you to have with us. And now I know how hard you've been working and get out there and before you start going to work again, take yourself a little trip and a vacation and relax. Tehran, you might go. <laughs> we got a flight? All right. <laughs> All right, well, fall to and enjoy. Thank you. Thank you again, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Miller time. And I'm sorry, they won't let me have parties in the afternoon. I've got to get going again. All right. Thank you. Thank you.